Hello and welcome along, everybody. How are we doing on this fine Wednesday evening? I hope you're doing well. All right, we've got a few people coming in. We've got uh, Lola. Welcome along. Uh, thank you to Gaming FFC for uh, for becoming the brand new role that exists on YouTube now. Uh, so yeah, he's become a harvest manager, which is fantastic. That is the new level on YouTube. Um, which uh, actually there's three new levels on YouTube. Uh, we've got harvest managers, we've got foremans, we've got landowners now. Um, and uh, yeah, all of those give you early access to my videos on YouTube, along with the same levels on uh, Patreon too, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, so uh, yeah, first, first two videos have been available uh, on... Uh, early access as well so uh yesterday's video was early access 24 hours before tomorrow's video is actually already up there for uh for youtube channel members and patrons at the moment so uh yeah if you want to get early access to my videos i'm now doing that so you can go and check them out uh we got coming in paul sinclair welcome along i'm doing okay thank you i hope you're doing well and uh, yeah, right, I am, because uh, we've got people filtering in. Oh, yeah, yeah, a couple more days before I forget. Hello, Fresh, exclamation mark, hello, Fresh, in the chat. Uh, we have a uh, uh, couple more days for you to get 6% off your first box and 20% off your boxes for the next two months after that. So uh, go check that out. Uh, hey, Lola, I have no idea if Reeve is joining us tonight. Uh, he has not messaged me at all, as far as I can tell. So uh, as I don't know if he's going to join us or not. On a Wednesday night, he doesn't join us till about uh, nine o'clock. Uh, anyway, awesome fitted Jay. I hope you enjoy. I love. I love. Oh, it's, it's down here. I haven't got the, the camera on it, but yeah. Hope you enjoy it. I I love the farm stick. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, Supreme Weasel, welcome along. Braden B, welcome along. I hope you're all doing well. Um, something else I'm gonna. Uh, say quickly tonight is OBS updated and I don't know if it's it's stream elements plugin or OBS but I now have uh, I, I now have an activity feed not just for Twitch but for YouTube as well so I won't miss it when DJ Gohan renews his membership <laughs> so yeah which is awesome right uh, let me move the server forward I've not logged on on it at the moment there we, there we are. Right. Uh, I've just moved that forward to 7 a.m. I think should do it. And uh, and then log myself in Zabin and we can get cracking on the farm. We have a lot of plowing to do. We've still got snow on the ground as well. So uh, let me just find my login details. Get on as an admin. And then we can get this on the road. So how's everybody's week been? Hope it's been going well. I have been uh, nicely getting ahead on my recording. So I actually have Saturday's recording. Um, that needs to be uploaded on Friday, obviously, to get the early access up on Friday for that. So, um, yeah, that's good. And I should have uh, Sunday's video recorded tomorrow which is even better right uh let's switch over to here and then uh we're gonna move time forward i'm expecting it especially with this much cloud to sort of be not light until nearly 9 a.m again what time is it for me right now it is uh 25 to 9 here Braden. your week has gone back oh i'm sorry to hear that lola Oh, that, that might be enough sunshine for us to... Is the sun up? I, th I think the sun's up. That's close enough. For a week, we decided to book tomorrow for a five-day weekend. Very nice, Fisher J. I am still job hunting. I am not a fan of job hunting. Look how deep this snow is. Oh, this might be, this might be fun, actually trying to plow in this uh right where are our what have we got in the way of tractors so we've got uh oh yes 
we've got those two contracts to do right let's take the truck and head down to the shop uh hopefully we can get plowing this ground and actually do some plowing oh let's unload these first so hopefully this will move in the uh in the snow because oh this is gonna be even worse isn't it hey steam fan welcome along you've lost your dog lola oh no i'm sorry to hear that this this snow is so deep this is like the beast from the east we had a few years ago does everybody remember that when we had all that snow and everything just got so snowed under uh do we have a pair of we must have a pair of uh forks for this yeah they're over there okay we get the 7610 out hey you show off too welcome along yeah, we're not actually doing field work in the dark at the moment. We're just preparing for field work at the moment. Oh, detach hoses first. Okay. There we go. And off. Right. Not a big fan of the truck startup. Yeah, I think I'd really like to replace the truck at some point. Our problem is that we just don't have the money to do it. Oh, there's a... Wow. 135 horsepower only, though. So that's not really powerful enough. But, uh, yeah. We are still on the lookout for a new truck to hit. Reaver is still very much set on his 40 series. And we're kind of hoping it's going to appear in the shop nice and cheap. Uh, first, we want to grab a brand new uh, field. We want to uh, own field one. We've still got 125,000 to go to do that, though. Yeah, reverse out. Change my mind. I want the super steer. <laughs> He's alive. Oh, no, Lola. I'm sorry to hear that. I, I'm sorry to hear that, especially after going like that. Uh, but Reaver's about. We have a Reaver, people. There we go. Drop the back of that. Dad's realistic, but it sounds like something is broken. Yeah. Hey, Waylon Timblick. Welcome along. Oh, come on. How do I... Can't get that. Let's try that again. It is... Yeah, there we go. Got it. We got it, chat. We'll get it in here with the rest of our supplies. Into the supply shed. This is some stupidly deep snow. I mean, I haven't had snow this deep in farm sim in a long while. Right, how am I gonna... I'll just... I'll have to put this down here somehow. No, there's not space for that there. We will just put this along this wall here, I think. Like that. There we go. YouTube chat broke it. Oh, is it? Where's Reva? Reva was in the chat. Was in the live stream chat. It seems to be working for me. But now that we've emptied the truck out, we can uh, turn the lights off on this, turn it off. And the sun is rising. Uh, great demand at East Coast Grain PLC. I don't think we have anything to sell. East Coast bales, no. So none of our stuff is is that. 
So close the back of that up. And now we need to try and drive this to the shop. Low gear. Keep things moving. Hey, Ace Face 2024. Welcome along. I'm alive, just taking a break over the winter months. So, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so that answers the question. Reva isn't joining us at the moment. Um, there is a, uh, there is not a huge amount to do. In fact, I don't even know if we will be able to do any plowing today because this is mad. We're going to try plowing snow. Uh, it's no, it's the sun is going to rot. Uh, we are going to get some sunshine soon by the looks of things. So, uh, hopefully, this snow will disappear. Um, but it's not meant to get much above freezing. But this is definitely the uh, the winteriest I've seen this on here. And winteriest I've seen farm sim for a while. Normally get a bit of snow over the winter. Um, but, whoa, ah, jeez, this truck. Uh, but, um, yeah, this is, uh, this is mad. Especially when I'm driving through the snow and suddenly catch a bit of tarmac. It just sends this truck flying. That's mad. Don't go too fast is the, uh, the general consensus here. It's a mad... This is a mad piece of kit, this truck. It really is. Where's the gritter men? I know! This is enough to close this road, I think. This is just crazy. As I said, Beast from the East is exactly what this is like. That was that was crazy as well. That was that was um, that was mad. So I don't know if anybody remembers, probably about four years ago now. Five years ago. Well, four years ago would be 2020, so it must be five years. Maybe even six. And basically, uh, the Beast from the East shut the country. And, uh, yeah, and, and my road outside my house was fine. You drove a mile uh, southwest, uh, or, uh, sorry, south, southeast, or a mile northwest, and the whole, uh, and the road was just closed. Hey, Barnes and Briscoe, welcome along. Right, there we go. You can see where we drove stuff last time. Now, where are our tractors for these contracts? Oh, this is it. Oh, yeah, this is the tractor for the contract. We'll park this over here. Like that. Oh, turn the lights off, otherwise we'll have no battery. At least we got this. We got a tracked tractor for these. We should have. Oh no! I think I think we've already. Where is the other tractor for the other contract? Twenty eighteen was it? Wow. We're a tractor short. Is the cultivating contract is field 11, isn't it? Or field 10? I don't know where the tractor is for the other contract. Right, so we've got 34 and 33. I think 30 three is the one we've got to do first because it's the one uh yeah 34 is the one we got to do first because that's the one that we uh haven't leased this equipment for okay Let's move forward. Hey, GJ Gary, welcome along. Uh, Reba is not, yeah. Yeah, he's uh, he's not, um, Reba's taking a break at the moment.
So, um, yeah. We're just going to carry on trying to get this stuff done. Field 11's contract seems to be missing the equipment for it at the moment. And I don't know why. I don't know where that's gone. But these plowing contracts should keep us going for a while. We're going to uh, hopefully make a bit of money. And this road is clearer. Got a little bit of... Um, drift there and uh, we seem to have a fair amount of it collected through here oh wow look at that that is just because there's not a huge amount on the road here as we're driving over it we're clearing some of it because it's just compacting it down to nothing Which is probably a good thing. Uh, I should have these on though. Where is the driveway? I think it's up here. Is that a street lamp? Yeah, those are. Those are a pair of street lamps. Interesting. Just sort of in the middle of nowhere. Welcome along. Check the farm next to the combine. What on here? Uh, my day's not been too bad, Lola. I'm still, as I said earlier, I'm still trying to get a job. I'm, uh, I'm looking at uh, money situation and going. Yeah, I need more money coming in. Um, but uh, yeah, so I've uh, been applying for an incredible number of jobs. I'm hoping that somebody gets back to me for one of them. Uh, and uh, been doing lots of eBay listing and, and lots of other stuff. Things are tight at the moment. We figured out contractors. Uh, I, well, I, so I will turn off the automatic restart of the server which is on there or i'll see if i can set it so that it's a, a, a night where everybody knows that it's going to happen because at the moment it's happening every night and as a result it's it's just uh it's causing server to lose time and and all sorts of things so that needs sorting that's 33 we want 34 oh 34 is the first one i drove past it chat But yeah, the entrance to it is right here. Thank you, Fisher J, for the ever little helps. Yeah, I'll see if I can sort it either tonight or tomorrow. Right. What is the shape of this field? Any squiggly bit down this corner, but otherwise looks like a fairly great edge down here. If I go across it, it's going to be lots of turning. I think we want go at sort of about this angle here so let's uh, turn that on let's turn the plow no nope. turn the plow and then i'm gonna line up on this edge here so what is the angle we are at 283 i think is the angle i want I've actually got to the point where I like doing it like this. Two, eight, three. Because it just... It does things really nicely. Uh, snap train angle off.
Right. Okay. And we want the lines on for now. Right. And then we want to auto whip it. Back it up. Right. And that should do the trick. That should be lined. Now I want to actually, I want to line things up here so that it hits the edge of the field there. And then we can get the little bit that we've got in this corner sorted. Reversing this thing is not easy. Getting it into a position where actually I'm going to plow what I want to plow. Not easy at all. Right down. There we go. Then the plow. What job am I looking for? I am looking for a uh, PHP, well, a PHP or full stack developers role, really. My dream job would be able to do this full time, but if the last five, four or five months have taught me anything. Look at this. This needs to be wider. Is there a way to widen this plow? Because that is not the right width. Look at that. At all. Or is it? Oh, no, it is. Look, there we go. Why am I always tired is a good question. It really is. And I am, I am still a long way from this paying my bills. Look at that. That. This, there must be some way to fold out this because that is not the right width at all. It's the right offset, but it's not the right width. There we go. That's the right width. No, it's one. Oh, lift that. So I'm keeping this on at the moment because trying to get this lined up in the right place at the moment is hard. And I still don't think that's the right width. Think I saw one of those challenges the other day? Nice. I think we need to get... Yeah, that is... A long way off. Let's see if we can get this on a longer road. Because at the moment... This is just painfully hard. Get this running on here, like so, and then we'll auto-width. 
No, that seems to think that is the width it should be. Which is going to go nowhere near the edge of that field. The farm's doing okay, Steam Pan. Uh, we have a lot of snow on the ground. I mean, just look at how much snow is on this ground at the moment. It's crazy. So the next one should be here. You know what? I think this might work. Offset's on the right side. The line is just a little bit wonky, but it is catching all of it. So the width is fine. Let's, um, right, uh, let's go into here then. We'll lose the lines because the lines are just confusing things and uh, keep going. Then we'll have, if we need to, we can always do something about the, uh, the bottom end of the field, but. Turn the plow. Out of the way. Always gets interesting when you have to reverse these plows up. Right. Way, where are you? That's the wrong line. So I must have quite a bit of an overlap here in order for this to work. Yeah, there it is. No, where are you going? No, I don't want you on that line. That's the line I want you on. Yeah, confusing is what this is. Very confusing. I want to be as a lot closer than I think I want to be. Turn those off. Yeah, trying to get a screenshot with this is hard. Downloading Apex in this year. Oh, friend me, Azrael. I will play Apex with you, absolutely. A 
Apex is cool. I like Apex. A lot. On stream, I don't mind. Either way. It doesn't do very well on my channel, Apex, but... It does have... There's a whole load of Apex Stream Loops cards as well, by the way. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely an offline game for me. Mostly. I do... When I do the 24-hour streams, I sometimes do it as a, as a bit of a breakup. But, um, yeah. I play Apex offline a lot. I actually need to boot up my PlayStation because since they did cross progression, uh, they uh, I, I I haven't had Apex on my uh, on my uh, booted up on my PlayStation because I've got a skin on my PlayStation one that I want to make sure is on my PC one. No, I'm fine. <laughs> Not going through. <laughs> what did you write? It didn't show up. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I saw you playing that, Azrael. I saw you playing that. I am toying with the idea that I probably could do with streaming more and uh, and and could do with playing some different games. Twenty-one hours in two and a half days is a bit much. No kidding. Wow. That's some serious dedication. Right. I need to be further over. There we go. We're already fourteen percent of the way through this chat. See, the sun's over there, so screenshots have to be like this. And then if we want the other direction, we have to do it on the way back. Anybody still playing on Carbs Pump? I'm not at the moment. Uh, but it's fun. Uh, Hell of a Directory is a lot more lively than FS. I hate to admit it, but probably won't be doing FS until Giants make an announcement. Uh, do you know what? I am, I am very much toying with the idea of making a video uh, along the lines of why hasn't FS25 been announced yet. And going over all the reasons why I think it's about to be again. The rumors I've heard have been hilarious. I, st I still think it's coming. Very much still think it's coming. I'm trying to think of any big events happening in the next couple of months, but no particular reason I can think of to hold off on an announcement at the moment. Other than Giants are very good at not announcing something until they are ready to hit that date. So that's the other thing. They may not have they may not be in a position to announce it yet because they want to be absolutely sure they can deliver it on that date. Um because they've never they've never delayed one before. Uh sports fan it'll be announced way before FarmCon. Uh yeah, sorry Lola, I do have an Xbox. Um, it is currently sitting in my loft because it, my son is banned from it. Uh, but yeah, I have a, I have an Xbox 360. No, an Xbox One 
um i have ps4 and i got my pc i have not seen a reason to get a ps5 or an xbox series x stroke s now i'm i'm expecting may at the latest maybe they'll announce it on my birthday maybe it'll be giant's birthday present to me hey axie and welcome along i'm doing all right I did see the VF fly you did. Um, I'm the one who put the uh, VF logo on the, uh, uh, as the comment on the bottom or as the reaction to it on the bottom. Very cool. Lift and turn. Uh, I don't think we'll get FS25 itself in May. I think we'll get the announcement of FS25 in May. I don't think we'll get FS25 till November. October, uh, October at the earliest, but more likely November. Oh, we're almost 20% of the way through this chat. Oh. I'll, uh, yeah, message me. I'll send you the P.O. box. Or my Steam code or my Steam username. Uh, it's, it's, uh, well, you'll find me as VF on, on Steam or, uh, VF, actually it's VF on, um, thingy as well. Owen, uh, thank you very much for subscribing. I'm going to say subscribing. Typical Ray is crazing me for a PS5. Don't let into it, Reaper. Why do you want a PS5? Can be PC. <laughs> uh, what was the supper action? Uh, for supper this evening. Oh, we have fish and chips. There's a lot of Birch Farmers and BF on stream, so Steam Code probably be there. Yeah, okay. I'm surprised there's a lot of virtual farmers on uh, thing. And my logo is also my icon. I uh, it's it's also my uh, profile pic. She has PC and won't use it, but she wants GTA 6. And yeah, why is GTA 6 not coming out on PC straight away? I mean, I know why. You don't have to tell me, but yeah. Unless you reside in Italy and just lie to us about your location. No. Okay, now, now I'm intrigued. Actually, let's just set that going. I want to know how many BFs there are on Steam. Got to log in on there. No, no, just give me Steam. Give me Steam. Track. Hang on. Uh, it's away. Don't know what that is. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Mm. 
sent it to you. Oh, we're going to do the hedge. Rockstar do console release first, then PC is easy for both platforms and get high quality game and console standards or higher. Yeah. I might have actually finished this by Sunday. <laughs> Oops. I am invisible. meant by snow plowing <laughs> hey mckenzio no problem axiom and uh, now we've got a few more people in here i'll say what i said earlier if you were if you haven't seen the announcement in discord um i have redone all the uh patron uh and uh, YouTube channel memberships and I have launched early access to my let's play videos So if you want to get access to my let's play videos around about a day ahead of their release to the general public uh, You can do so be by becoming a patron or a YouTube channel member um, Anything harvest manager and above has uh, early access and uh, it will be all of so the plan is all of my uh let's play videos uh excluding any premieres and uh it will uh, and it might include other videos as well um but those will be a much more on an ad hoc basis because some of them will be limited by uh and uh, uh, uh embargoes and things so uh yeah those are s some funny things um <laughs> hello hataru welcome along um and also i've updated the naming rights and things like that so higher levels get more chance of your name ending up on a production or on a uh, on a number plate um and i've changed it now that any number plate uh any a piece of equipment i buy or lease uh can end up uh will will have a number plate uh done for it uh, so it's not just the main tractors and things now it's any trailer we get or anything like that we'll pick someone at random and we will put their number plate on the uh on the piece of equipment what about names on scroll bars well as in the stuff going under so the stuff going under me at the moment this is patrons uh this will be updated at the end of the month uh, as will the um uh, as will the uh end credits uh to uh to reflect the new setup and uh yeah names will be updated on a monthly basis excellent as well which means if i uh, i'll turn around and then bring up steam and uh oh that's a nice shot uh oh, i got to do it on the way back I do make things difficult. Well, and so my my page name on Steam uh, 
predates my channel by a long, long way. Hey, Matt, welcome along. So that's why my page name is that and 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 I appear as for you. Four ads at once. Don't use the browser, just the app. So I had to log in by the browser. No, sorry. My bad. I have no idea where to find my Steam code. That's my trouble. What has in on here? Hey, look at me, old man, going like that. Let me see. Ah, oh, Azrael is waiting for a response. Uh, except. Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not again, Otaru. What am I planting? I'm not. I'm plowing. You spilled coffee. That's not good. Oh, we're almost 30% through this. We're almost a third of the way through this. So if you add Steam on PC, you can click add friend and big numbers. Okay. Gotcha. Am I a member? A member of what? Really, I'm teaching a bit. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> I'm a, I'm a millennial, thank you. I'm in that awkward, awkward place between uh, a, a, a Gen Xer and a millennial. Uh, Emo Saxo, thank you for resubscribing for your 49th month. You're awesome. Yeah, it's it's. I I read all the descriptions of of Gen Xers and millennials and 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 things like that, and I am um, both. Um, am I a member of my own YouTube channel? No, I'm the owner of my YouTube channel. Uh, cats are doing okay today, thank you. We are, well, no, so this is the thing, Reba. There's a, there's a point between sort of those born in the, in the late 70s who are Gen Xers, like us, and those who are born in the early 80s who are, uh, who are millennials. And there's a, a crossover between the two. Uh, and basically, uh, the ones in the crossover are those who fit both things. So because I have a big knowledge of computers and a big knowledge of the internet and, 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 uh, and a lot of that, I fit a lot of the millennial stuff. But I am definitely a Gen Xer as well. Um, because I remember when MTV played music <laughs> so uh yeah <coughs> it's um 
I, I, there are, there are lots of millennial stuff I fit, and there's lots of Gen X stuff I fit, and, and so there, there, and there is a term for it. Uh, they, they are, uh, people like me are called Zillennials with an X. And then, interestingly, because millennials are then followed by Gen Zers, there is a, a second group, a group of Zillennials who are, it, where it's spelt with a Z. Evening, fat boy. Welcome along. But it's it's a little bit like horoscopes, to be honest. It's pretty meaningless. I bought I bought Maple onto the stream, Reva, because she had she went to the vet on Friday, and she's she's not the the healthiest of kittens, or not the healthiest of cats. Hence, hence her small size. She's not much bigger than the kitten. What am I talking about? <laughs> we should get... So, yeah, we should get this contract done today and then on sunday we'll have the other contract to do but i don't know where the track has gone for the other contract this is some serious snowfall maple is adorable and she knows it oh yeah she is she sleeps she is one of the most adorable cat when she sleeps she puts her head down and, and tucks it under her front so she loafs but she loafs with her head down and and tucked under and it is just so cute and she'll do it on my lap so she'll come and sit on my lap in front of the tv lay in a in sort of a loafing position and then tuck her head under the front it's it's absolutely it, it's so cute yeah she's in trouble again plows the plow is not the wrong way around Oh no, plows the wrong way around. Bat boy, you're not wrong actually. The plow is the wrong way around. I should be turning it into the field, not out of it. Oh great. This is gonna cause a mess. Yeah, it should be this way around, shouldn't it? Oh, next to the combine for the track. Ah. No, there's only the combine there. There's no other tractor there. Yeah, it's not there. Why don't I use a tiller? Because this is a plowing contract. Right, let's set that up. And this time... it's taken that long for somebody to tell me my plow's the wrong way around. <laughs> oh, jeez. Still has the more cute, yeah, but I've got to plow this, otherwise they're going to be unhappy with me. 
Later, Lola. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Reva is not with me tonight, no. Reva's, uh, Reva's having uh, a break. It's uh, during the winter time. There's not much for us to do on the server anyway, or on the farm anyway. So uh, I'm just working through a couple of contracts, trying to uh, beef up our money. We need 270,000. So we're still uh, 185,000 short. For these two contracts, uh, these contract two contracts will get us uh, a, quite a bit of the way there. It should get us halfway there. You have new ear hangers. Oh, nice, Utaro. What's on them? What be you hanging from your ears? Little crystals, oh, very nice. There we go. We're now plowing the right way round, chat. With some of him. How you doing, Mystic? Right, I want to get a screenshot from this way as well. doing hope things are going well my friend and thank you for resubscribing at uh tier one for your 20th month you are awesome how do i make screenshots uh well i turn the hud off so first thing i'm doing is so gs hud visibility which is actually underneath the um hello fresh bit hang on let me let me hide the sponsor card for a moment so you can see under there it says gs hud visibility that hides the hud like so and uh, then i just press the print screen button uh, but i actually recommend uh there's several mods that allow you to do it and i recommend uh i recommend doing that been better diagnosed with flu and pneumonia this morning. Oh my god, Red. Hope you get better soon, my friend. Wow. My my wife's had that. It's it's not nice. Get ready for work a 12 hour shift. Yeah, I hope you get better soon, Red. That's nasty. Screenshots of your computers. I uh, what's the one I recommend? Pro Shot. Pro Shot is the mod I recommend. Absolutely brilliant for getting screenshots. Get that down to eight. There we go. Ah, uh, look, the snow stopped. We're still plowing snow, but the snow has stopped falling. How do I have to expect to last it six weeks to fully clear?
Guys, don't forget to use my code TOGUKFRESH5987. Uh, sign up for uh, HelloFresh and you can get 6% off your first box and 20% off your boxes for the next two months after that. Uh, this is only valid until uh, Sunday, Sunday 31st. So uh, we are sponsored until the end of the month on that. So uh, check it out and uh, and uh, yeah, go grab yourself a bargain because they are awesome. And if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, there's a link in the description. We're not up to 50% yet. Evening, Pete. Hope you're doing well. Oh, Brian's purchased 10 chests. What cards may come? Yeah. You too, Matt. I hope you have a good one. I hope your uh, shift passes um, swiftly. With that, back it off. Uh, actually, I don't know who owns McCormick in real life. I thought they were still owned by McCormick. Overdue taxes. We're getting so close to buying that new field, but um, yeah. My friends got into a fight a while ago and they started fighting. It was like just laughing and sipping coffee. Later, we were jumping up the fence and the pub came and he yelled, Atari, go play outside or something. Oh, man. This field is just got longer and longer and longer. And the trail is like, <laughs> yeah. Oh man. You know what? Farm sim with snow on the ground is just gorgeous. And just so amazing to look at this. Argos, uh, yeah, so McCormick is basically owned by their own company. Argo SPA, yeah. So they they don't own any other tractors, do they? I don't think. halfway through this though
Wasn't sure if they were. Uh, no, they're not. They're definitely not Case AH. I knew that much. Hey, one thing with the stone, the floor is in lava. That's very true. The floor is not warm either. Oh, that is just. I love that. Just looks gorgeous. Every little helps. Thank you. Oh no, add money, add money. There we go. I think we could actually sit in cab for a while. I've got I've begun to get the re the uh, the rhythm for this. How you doing, Ethan? Midnight Master 174, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFN. Love that you can actually see in the mirror there the uh, the work going on with the uh, the plow. You can actually see the plow in the uh, in the mirror. That's pretty cool. Similar corrections and nice for hair. Yeah. We're well into the afternoon, but yeah, no new equipment that we're interested in. How much is Reavers tractor and how close am I to the end of the field? Right, I'm fairly close to the end of the field, so we'll wait till we turn to sort that. And I want to have a look at how much structure. I mean, it's half of what we've got now. set that going so the tractor reaver once is a medium i think is it under large not under large is it 70 series oh yeah it is so he wants the super steer which is 110,000. okay and to get that up to the 190 is going to be 118,000. Oh, yeah. Track tractors have been around for a very long time. I've still got my lights on. Don't need that. Uh, the first tractors, I think, were based on tanks, weren't they? Basically. Or was it the other way around? I, I know one was based on the other, definitely. Midnight Master 174, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. Invented and designed in Lincoln. Well, there is all that boggy land around Lincolnshire, isn't there? That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Based on the tank, that's what I thought. Uh, I can allow that. <laughs> I can actually allow that, Otara, because I know. 
Although if anybody, if anybody comes in my chat and says, oh, BF, you've got a little willy. I now know who to blame for that being allowed through the filter. Hey, Austin Benninger, welcome along. The whole tracked company starts to build tanks for the British Army. Ah, okay. I've been good, thank you, Austin. How have you been? I hope you've been well. Katie, did I build half tracks in World War II? Not that I know the North Norfolk Railway. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I know the North Norfolk Railway. Sort of, um, yeah, Sheringham tearing him across and down to halt. I've ridden on it actually during their uh, when they do their illumination stuff at um, at Christmas. We did uh, we did that. You're a history enthusiast. So am I. I love history. I absolutely love history. I watch an awful lot of history stuff on. Um, uh, on YouTube. A crazy amount. We are nearly 60% through this contract, which is fantastic because this is the long bit of this contract. Been on that line yet, but it's the line you want to do. Have you done the, the Mid Norfolk Railway that starts in Deerham? We did the Polar Express from there a couple of years ago. Which part of Norfolk, right? So I I currently live in North Norfolk, Chris. I uh, I grew up around Deerham and uh, and that way, and I went to school in Hunstanton and I went to school in Norwich and uh, yeah no not done any of Norfolk railways there's, there's also a really interesting little railway that runs uh, it's a, a light railway that runs from uh, Ailsham through to uh, Roxham. You have the Harry Potter accent. Funny you should say that, Hataru. Uh, one of my cousins was in the Harry Potter films. A cousin of mine was in the Harry Potter films. He's uh, he's quite famous now. I live five miles from Durham and work in Durham. All right, so I grew up in North Elmham, Chris. My dad, uh, my dad had a uh, had a farm in North Elmham. Uh, Lost and hopeless. Thank you for the uh, the follow. Yes, yeah, yeah the, uh, a little known actor uh, called Rupert Grint is my cousin. He's family, yeah. I've been, I've been to Rupert Grint's house. We had a big family get-together there a few years ago. 
So, uh, so it's it's a little bit removed. So, uh, his grandmother and my mother are first cousins. His mother and me are second cousins, and so he is he is my kid's third cousin. And yeah, I've I've been to his house. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. I don't know why my alerts aren't coming up, unless I'm I'm missing them or unless they're coming up silently is the other thing. How are you doing, Lost and Hopeless? I think this is going to be is basically going to be sorting this contract alerts are not showing okay refresh them let's see if i can get it to me okay. there we go hey red dragon welcome along must recall the fish in my drawer is still alive oh my lord hey nope that is the wrong row that is lined up for Thank you, Lost and Hopeless. Uh, farm is coming along quite nicely. We are currently saving up for a new field. It is 270,000. And, um, yeah. It's the closest one to our farm. So it's field one here that we want to buy. Uh, it's got good yield potential and 270,000. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to check. What is there any? Turn house back on. Don't think there's anything in it at the moment. No, it is ploughed, so it's actually ready to plant. But I don't think we're going to get there before it's actually planted. Oh, how is my plough the wrong way round again? manage that uh yeah this is a great map i, lo I love saxo it's it's an awesome map i must have missed turning it at some point does annoy me right let's get this back in the right way I don't think it's going to make much difference. Yeah, it's, it's a tiny little bit extra it's getting. I forgot to turn it. Uh, okay, so that was that was on this row that I got it wrong. Gotcha. 
Ah. Why don't I steal this tractor? Because it will disappear after I finish these two contracts. And the interesting thing is, if you use a tractor for a, a while, um, it will dis uh, and and don't do the contract. It will disappear eventually. The farmer does take it back. But that is a useful thing if you're uh, if you're trying to start up uh, on a on a start from scratch. Uh, if you're struggling for a tractor early on, borrow a tractor for a contract and use it for a couple of days. Because the tractor, the tractor, because it doesn't do any field work itself, isn't restricted to the contract. And that is the most expensive bit you'll use. So it's a good way to get started. Buy your equipment and uh, and, and use a contract tractor. Go are not getting the Ursus and the converted it if you still want it. I haven't tried yet, actually, Vapor, to be honest. I should. Someone did send me a link to it. We are officially two thirds of the way through this field. Do I have a favorite European tractor? Um, modern, New Holland. Uh, whereas um, classic David Brown. Starting in Devon at the end of March, is it? It has it, it has got very cold around here today. Uh, David, um, I'm a fan of the twelve ten, the Tari. We we grew up. I grew up on farms with nine nine sixes and twelve tens and fourteen fourteens and things like that. Dartmoor is covered. Really, wow. That's insane. My plow is actually the right way around this time. I made sure of it. Uh, the emblematic models are a little bit for my time. I'll, sh I'll show you though. Okay, I'm going to show you the mess. That, that is my favorite tractor. If I can get it to there. That's the Britain's version of it. You're not far from Dartmoor. In FS25, can Giants please get a David Brown tractor for VF and game? Yes, please. Come on. We're so close. Look, that's absolutely sold under. I have a look at that.
there's actually a david brown tractor i want to find more uh more info on uh that uh came out recently Let's see if i can find a picture of it actually i've seen i've seen it on social media a couple of times let's get this going and then i'll see if i can find it Let's see if I can find this. Uh, the case looking one, yeah. Where's the search? Where's the search button on Facebook? Oh, there it is. Brown tract. There we go. I saw it on this group earlier today. This is not a great picture of it, but uh, that. So that is has been going around. I want somebody. I'd love somebody to make that as a mod in Farm Sim for me. if they did that for uh i think david brown has a fairly significant um uh, uh anniversary this year if i remember correctly earn it Did you do an updated setup tour? I will. I, so I think I'm going to try doing it for... Um, uh, for... Um, 40,000 subs on, uh, on YouTube, which we are not far off at this point. Uh, how far have we got to go? We are, we are less than a thousand subs. In fact, we are 901 subs. Yeah, 901 subs away from 40k. Hope they in FS25, more Japanese brands and playstyles come along as well, like uh, Japanese Kubota models, Morai Seki models, Yanma, and also rice fields. Rice seems to be a really popular thing in Farm Sim at the moment. Seeing so many mods uh, doing rice stuff, that would be quite cool. Okay, so David Brown, so I don't. Uh, uh, so I don't see why Giants can't get a license for them to be in FS. Uh, Pace owned what was David Brown tractors. David Brown as a brand still exists. They make gearboxes. 
uh, and they're an engineering company that exists. So I'm not sure Case own the David Brown brand in the same way as Case don't uh, Case IH don't own the Ford brand, even though they own what was Ford tractors. Great choice for the real project. Uh, I'm not sure that far this map is correct with the atmosphere as well as not that far and this map is correct. Oh yeah, I drive through uh, Saxthorpe on a regular basis, uh, Michael. And this map is spot on. Absolutely love this map. It's uh, it's about 20 minute drive from me, this place. Whoa. I am going through the hedge. You do not want to go through the hedge. Where's Reva? Reva is taking a couple of streams off because there's not a huge amount to do during winter and um, and he's a little bit burnt out. So he's uh, he's taking a break. Uh, I am just nicely uh, plowing away and uh, and getting myself in a in a good position. Cheers, Timbot! Uh, what was for supper, uh, Bailey Shaw? Uh, for supper this evening, I had fish and chips. Yeah, nice medium cod and small chips from my local chippy. Norath142 first... asks, what's the first thing you'd talk about to a time traveler from the past? Oh. I... <laughs> that, that, that kind of depends on how far from the past they are. Uh, it's... Yeah, because that's, that's an interesting one. Could you even... Talk to them because if you got if they're from too far in the past english would have changed a lot but that's the thing Nora. there are a lot you think of the kind of the amount of words that have come into the english language in the last 200 years so 200 years ago is 18 uh is uh is 1824 now we're not the victorian age hasn't happened yet the uh the uh, british empire is at the height of its power uh we've just we're we're we are 10 years just yeah just over 10 years after the war of 1812 um do you know what would be an interesting thing so this is this is the interesting thing from a, a time traveler from 200 years in the past would be to talk about how powerful uh, America has become and how uh, how much power uh, the UK has lost because you're talking to somebody who uh, the Britain is is absolutely at the height of its empire. You know, yes, they've just lost the states, but they're just getting India, I think, in around 1824. So, talking to them about that kind of thing, and well, the thing is, it's interesting thing, Ataru, is that you 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 go to that time. 
and absolutely it, 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 imperialism was a massive thing but the interesting contrast will be between how britain was back then and how america is now because america back in that time was a young country it they they had only they only declared their independence what 50 years earlier than that and they uh, uh and and as a result they uh, and we just had they just had a second war with britain and uh, the the thing everybody forgets is america as a country was very isolationist until around the first world war and then uh and then the the second world war especially changed all that hey martin welcome along so yeah that's that's what i'd speak to a time traveler from the past about especially 200 years contrasting uh contrasting how things were back then and how things are now hey static green welcome along do you imagine trying to explain the state of the world today to somebody from 200 years in the past i mean in europe at the time was was essentially at each other's throats and were for another 200 odd years Well, way about it if you feel way about it here in 1937 japan invaded china which other powers could do with the boxer rebellion we're beating the russians yeah the the, the that actually is a an amazing one uh, the battle of uh tsushima uh the the uh, uh the fighting between japan and um and russia in uh 19 uh, in in the early 1900s um and the effect that had with the russian revolution was incredible because if japan hadn't defeated russia in the early 1900s then the russian revolution would basically not have happened which is incredible uh a bit of both we, we don't so i'm not i'm not talking about politics uh so much as history we don't we don't tend to do politics here um must be the sun must be setting because it's getting dark wow i really want to complete this contract but yeah we're talking we're talking history we're not talking politics the politics of 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 that stuff the right and wrong of it is is not what we're discussing here we're discussing what effects these things had and uh and yeah some of some of that some of the effects are wild it would have been a very different uh kim Morris. thank you for subscribing uh on youtube welcome to the bfn yeah 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 i'm not i'm not looking to lay any blame or anything it's 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 more the it's more the facts of what happened rather than uh any kind of judgment being passed uh but yeah it's no that's that's it's it, what i find interesting about history is the knock-on effects of things is is seeing what one thing led to the next thing led to the next thing is is incredible it's why i love our uh, alternate history stuff alternate history stuff fascinates me because if you if you pull one little thread the amount of stuff that unwinds the amount of stuff that that just 
changes that you wouldn't expect to have uh, that effect is is crazy it's absolutely incredible i mean if you if europe hadn't gone to war with itself in uh, in the earliest early 20th century there would probably still be empires and uh, and and uh, you know with all the european powers still still having their empires and still keeping things going because the the two world wars world war one and world war two bankrupted europe absolutely did and and that's the incredible thing uh and uh and and again if if the states hadn't stepped in post world war ii and uh and and I guess, is it called it was it called the marshall plan i want to call i want to say the marshall plan where they basically came in and uh, and rebuilt western europe uh europe would have europe would have been gone just completely communist because there was no money and it would it would have just been just straight across the continent it would be very different history knocks knocks on chair and let's uh it's very tight it was a bit yeah absolutely uh completely static green and what i, I think the uk eventually paid off its uh its war debts what 10 years ago am i am i right in thinking it's 2012 um but yeah they, but what, what i mean by that is is that it's 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 just interesting had that not happened the, the whole thing would have it would have changed the entire world I love history. History is just fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. What would be a nightmare, Hataru? Hi, Shane. Welcome along. I can't believe how quickly we've got to, to the end of the day. That's nuts. And how quickly all of the um, snow melted, actually. That's also nuts. This game, yeah, this game does do that. I before I started making any content for it, I would get to three, four a.m. playing fast sim, just having got lost, lost in things. Knocks over a vase and sphere of tower and turns to Isle Papa. Her type for money. No, I need coffee. <laughs> How you doing, Shane? Yeah, I, I can get lost for a very long time in Farm Sim and have got lost for a very long time in Farm Sim. Ninety percent. We are going to have to do this fiddly bit, I think. We're not going to get away with it. As long as we don't have to do all the headland, I don't mind. How's my new PC getting on? Uh, my new PC is uh, doing well, thank you. Um, it is, uh, yeah, it's it's actually functioning really well. And uh, doing everything I need it to. Whoa. Yeah, no. Carefully back. Back up. Then this. Ourselves onto the 
right track. Actually, engage that. Gas cells backed up. All right. There we are. Down and forward. Beer Tower is one of your favorite buildings. But Edward's first ministry in schools and one of the most ruthless kings in the UK. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to try and remember my history. Yeah, a lot of a lot of what uh, of the history I enjoy reading about is actually early twenty early 20th century foot stuff i got okay thank you shane yeah we're doing all right easy time ahead up here there we are edward long i do remember i that period of history i'm less familiar with Whoop. But that, that does ring a bell. Board and other tracks. Yeah, tractor history is quite cool to read as well. It's, it gets very convoluted as well, which is always interesting. But that's that's part of how we got onto this. That and uh, what would I talk to a time traveler about? There we go. What are we up to? 92%. Sun is still in the sky, although the moon is coming up. Oh. Even with a clear sky, it does get really dark. I think we're probably going to leave this up here and run down to the shop grab the truck and take it home what i'll try to remember is the field marshal oh wow he used a hammer to start it yeah I remember the field marshal. I think I've seen, I think I've seen a couple at Norfolk show. Turn that my light turned off. Check something. Ah, oh. light disconnected from the Wi-Fi. Playing on Monet Farms. I've never played that map. Remember four tractors that were painted yellow as well? Oh, yeah. Well. Well, those were always um, road tractors, weren't they? Or um, community use tractors. Because I know where uh, some masses that were painted yellow. Noraf 142 wants you to enable emote only chat for one minute. Emote only chat. Yeah, that was industrial. That's what I was thinking of. I 
I can't enable emote only chat on YouTube, so uh, it's Twitch only. Ninety-four. We are so nearly there now. Gold Gaming three two eight one. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFN. Oh, I'm going to have to do headlands. We're not going to... We're running out of field here. No! Hey, look at that. There's, there's no field left. It's going to... Going to have to do the headlands. And about only chow. Santa. Reverse this up because there's no point in making the turn. Ever seen 90 Santa? I saw Santa in the 90s. Right, 97%. Maybe, just maybe. You can finish it off with this headland here. If you're back with Santa costume. Jeez. Nineties haircut with round glasses. Oh wow! I actually I have a nineties haircut most of the time. I uh, I like my curtains. I think the top end of the field is going to be the thing that completes this. There's not a lot of uh, bit that needs doing down this side here. You can see this is all pretty well done. At my age, he had a ponytail. Oh, man. I can put off, pull off a ponytail. Gold Gaming, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFN. And cheers, Bailey Shaw.
and all kinds of metal bands on islands. Oh, wow. <coughs> Ninety-nine percent. Actually, I'm slightly surprised that that little bit down the edge there actually managed to get us to ninety-nine percent. But we know we've got a large section in this corner. Yeah, look at this. I had curtains until 98 when I joined the ad day at army that day cutting them off. There we go. Contract's done. Good. Right. Go the other way. Noraf142 wants you to slow clap at that. Right. Fold this up. Go park this up and then we're gonna run down to the shop and uh, grab the truck. So that way on Sunday we can just get on with field 33 over here. We'll park this here. Turn it off. The lights off. Right. Uh, feel. Uh, let's have a look. So, 34 is finished. We had nothing on there. So, 24,000. Elect that contract. Fantastic. Yeah. I, yeah, feel 11. We apparently don't have anything, any cultivating equipment for. So, we might have to. Who's that for? That's for him. Ah, uh, we might have to cancel the contract because the equipment's disappeared. Right. Let's run home. We're at 210,000. Archangel, thank you for resubscribing for your 12th month. You are awesome. Does cosplay need to be configured for every field you harvest and such? Yes. Just talk about chicken fish, so I thought I would post. Hey, I'm Jabu. Welcome along. That's actually a relevant post for tonight. Oh, uh, yeah. Full year. Amazing, Archangel. Thank you so much. the side of the road should be on the other side of the road should be running towards the traffic not away from it it's gonna snow again we might actually be plowing in the snow again on sunday this is a long old run back down to the shop Also, I don't know what we're going to do about this uh, about this cultivating contract. We may not be able to do it. We might have to cancel it. Quite possibly. Either that or... Oh, we might have a little cultivator. Oh, man. Hey, Biba. I know what you're doing on Sunday. Bitty, <laughs> bitty cultivator. I was at least two hours. <laughs> I 
We're down by field nine. We can track our uh, progress. Are we more than halfway back? Yeah, I'm on. stream uh, playing it's fun to watch ah oh, thank you shane uh, your gates open automatically in your do my gates open not as far as i know that's normal there is there used to be a mod that did that uh there was a mod in 19 i think that in 15 that might have been the thing the gates automatically opening there's still a, there's a mod for 22 that does that that's what i thought no mods okay that's weird Ethan. uh yeah that's certainly uh a mod that does that <laughs> no still nothing in the shop so we'll see what the shop brings up on Sunday. I don't know. I don't use it. All right. Let's get the truck home. That way uh, it's in the right place for next time. And we can easily get up to uh, the field to get started. And then uh, that's all good. Yeah, nothing to do on our own farm until probably uh, uh, March. March will be looking at getting the barley in. And with any luck, we might have the money by that point to go and buy the other field and uh, look at getting some more stuff in. I'm actually tempted to say, hey, let's let's do carrots ourselves. Because the amount of money I've made on carrots on northern farms has been insane. But we've got a combine harvester, so I think we might end up putting a second grain crop in instead. Whatever we can plant in uh, in February, uh, in March, April time. Presuming we can make the remaining 60 odd grand we need to make. We've got another 20, 20 grand. So we, we need to make about another 40,000 pounds before we can buy the field. Made yesterday by planting oats and harvesting. It made 769,000. How big? Whoa. Oops. We build on our team and rebuild. First set of pigs went for 12k. Got a deal on some cows, which are still TV free. Got combine, went for the smaller C7 model. Now I'll trade up for case I Yeah, T7 HD at 313 HP. And for the 8 series, Deutz had. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Right, we'll just park this here. Bye. Right. Right, so, uh, yeah, that's been uh, pretty successful tonight, I'd say. Take that right down. We'll save this here. But, yeah, I'm pleased with that. That's good progress. And uh, and we've uh, we've made a nice little uh, amount of profit of that, um, of that contract. And we've got another one to take on next time. 
Judging by how long that turn took, it looks like we'll be doing that for most of the next stream. Uh, let's see who is on Twitch and say our uh, thank yous. Uh, ooh, wow. Actually, I have a few people on Twitch for once, which is interesting. And we have one of my favorite Twitch streamers is uh, is back on Twitch tonight. So we are going to go and raid Mr. Jababoo. Because uh, I haven't raided him in a while. And he's a good friend. And uh, he is back from PAX. So uh, go and ask him what happened with Farm Sim at PAX. A um, couple of things. Uh, as I said at the start of the stream, if you... Uh, well... No, I should say this the other way. Uh, video tomorrow on YouTube uh, is uh, Northern Farms. Uh, we are dealing with stones and trying to get our field ready for planting the barley. If you want access to uh, that video right now, it is up on my Patreon. Um, it is also available for early access on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, to, uh, to uh, YouTube down members and patrons, uh, tomorrow's video is already available. Um, otherwise, uh, it will be up at 3 p.m. tomorrow. Um, I will be back streaming on Friday evening. We are back on the multiplayer server. Uh, we'll see how the progress has gone on our first week. Um, I'm looking forward to that. That will be good. I need to, I want to get onto the server and sort some stuff, actually tomorrow if i can um but uh yeah um we're, we're back on the uh the new community server on friday as we try and buy the whole map and uh and uh see how long that will take us so uh yeah if you want to join us on there again um that is open to uh youtube channel members to patrons to twitch subscribers uh, and to anybody who's reached level eight on my discord um so go and check that out um a couple of thank yous to say before we go uh i would like to say a huge thank you to archangel 59 for resubscribing you are awesome uh to red branch for resubscribing you are awesome uh to eva saxo for resubscribing you are awesome uh to gamer dragon for renewing your channel membership uh you are awesome um, and that I think is everybody for tonight. Oh yeah, and to gaming FFC for uh, for uh, increasing your uh, membership level as well. Thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, as I said, I will uh, be uh, video tomorrow on YouTube, uh, stream on Friday. For now, though, I'm gonna leave this here. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this live stream. Uh, if you're on YouTube, please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And a huge thank you as always to all of my supporters, uh, all my uh, YouTube channel members, my Twitch subs um, and my patrons. You guys are absolutely awesome. Uh, if you've yet to follow on Twitch or uh, subscribe on YouTube, please do so. And you'll never miss a live stream or a video from me. Um, and until next time, goodbye for now.